I'll just start like when did you guys plan it from the beginning, like for the, the music and the video or did it come? OK, we didn't plan it from the beginning. I started making this album with. All right. So it's kind of a crazy scenario. We we signed on to make a, a soundtrack for a television show. And so we created 12 songs and also decided to make these bumpers that would go. Um, that weren't songs, but they were just kind of synth and drums and things that, that we could offer them that they could use for, you know, underneath the car driving or underneath, you know, just certain situations where it's like instead of using a song, you you would use some of these elements of just weird synth kind of almost like ambience shit. Right. And so then the the deal with the soundtrack kind of unraveled because uh they, they, you know, we, we, we couldn't agree on certain terms. And so we just kept the album and we released the album like last year, uh, uh, year, I don't know, the end of 2019, we released the album called Whenever. And those songs were actually the songs that were supposed to be for this television show that never happened. So after we released it, you know, we were like, oh, that's cool. We kind of like the album, you know, and, 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 and we were like, what do we do with these extra bumpers? You know, all of these weird little simp things. Like when Ant made them, he was kind of, uh, he was kind of basing it around his own interpretation of like John Carpenter music, you know? So he was like, well, I still have all these things. I was like, well, just give them to me as is. Don't sequence them, but give them to me as the bumpers that you made that you were just showing off. And he was like, all right, cool. So he gave them to me and I started writing to them as they were built as, as models. They weren't quite sequenced like songs. They were just models of songs. And so I started writing. And that's why there was like little short songs and stuff. Cause it was like, well, why make a, why make two verses? Like the model works, you know? And so, so I made all of these songs and we were just like, whoa, this is going somewhere. And I started to craft a story in my head at least. And you know, I'm trying to explain to Ant, well, this is the story of it. And Ant's like, you got to make a visual for this. You you need to, it's it's short enough. It's under 30 minutes. He's like, you got to make a, like a long run video or something so that people will understand this story you're trying to tell, because the story is a little obtuse. You know, it's like, it's, it works in my own head, but outside, if you're just listening to the songs, you might not get it, you know? And so um, I hollered at Jason Goldwatch, you know, a friend of mine, and was just like, hey, you know, you like to make art, you know, I want to make some art. I want to make something cool out of this. And he's like, all right, let me hear the music, you know? And I gave him the music and he was like, yo, I fucking love this music. I love these songs. And I'm just like, well, shit, let's make something. He's like, all right, here's my idea. And he's like, I want to make this story, but I want to use found footage. And I'm like, okay, let's, let's do it. Try. And so he starts putting together little tiny vignettes to show me. And I'm just like, yo, this shit is, is dope. And then he's like, yo, it's going to be a, a horror film, a scary film. Like, and I'm like, yeah, okay. Cause it's <laughs> in my head, my only rules were this man. My story was about um, an artist who was um, like, the album was about a young artist who was, was living in, 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 in under the surveillance state, there was a lot of social unrest. There's a lot of, but this was in the eighties, right? And it was also about new technology in the eighties. You know, we were talking about the, the VHS tape and how technology kind of kicked it up a notch in the eighties. And it was crazy because it was still pre-digital, but it was like the end of the analog era. And right. so we were doing crazy shit with analog at the time, you know? And so I was like, you know, uh, thinking about the, 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 the concept of uh, George Orwell's 1984, thinking about the, I don't know if you ever saw that film called The End of Violence with all the, how the surveillance, uh, the surveillance state worked within this film, right? So, so these movies were like, uh, or To Live and Die in LA. I don't know if you ever, okay, so, so these are the kind of movies that were in my head because I was crafting this John Carpenter narrative along with what Ant was trying to do musically. And so when I explained what my protagonist was and, and what what the what the arc was for the story and how he, he you know he, he gets into an argument with his partner and he takes off and it's a, it's it's a it's a it's a travel to get from one place to another and that's like an actual whole part of the narrative and then he gets there and it turns out that that's a social gathering, but it's under the whole the whole story is under the surveillance of the eye you know watching right. you always and also state violence you know and just the kind of 
the, the idea of pushing back against state violence. So he's like, oh no, we got this then. This is going to be a horror film that basically goes through it. It talks about all of your fear of technology. It talks about your fear of surveillance. It talks about your fear of the state. It talks about um, the, 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 you know, he's like, I'm going to make sure there's a, a situation between two people who are, who are basically partners. He's like, I'm going to give you all this stuff. Like, all right, go, man. And he starts showing me, he's like, here's the shit that I found, you know? And I'm like still looking at it like, holy shit, how are you going to make a story out of this? And then when he started sending me the art and where it was going and the notes, I was just like, bro, you are insane. You're killing it. Like this is to me, this is the kind of art I wanted to make, but I didn't know that. I didn't yeah. know until you started to show me that this is outside of my imagination. You know what I'm saying? Right, it was like, yeah. it's beyond what I could have thought of. But that's the coolest thing is like when you can, you know, being able, cause you create such amazing music and then have somebody that you can have as a collaborator where you, where they can add their, you know, amazing art to your amazing art. And, and then it creates something special, man. More people need to break through barriers and make art with each other. There needs to be more collaborative shit. And this is coming from a straight up control freak. I am, I am a bona fide 100%. I'm Virgo all the way. I'm a control freak. And I'm, I'm trying to break those walls and learn how to give other people the control. And I just am another voice or another uh, a sous chef. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, right. I'm just in the kitchen with you watching you get down. You know what I mean? And, and, and it's like, I, I want to see more people do that. You know, it's like me and Goldwatch um, might not have had the same experiences and we might not even be communicating the same exact thing with this project, but what we wanted to communicate can line together and go so that it's, it, it opens it up for more people to, to, to find something about it that they want to grab onto. Yeah. Cause it does, it feeds us, man, it feeds our soul and our hearts and, and it's, it's cool. You guys put together a cool piece and you have with your music throughout your whole career, you know, made a lot of great stuff that, has meant the world to so many people and that's 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 an amazing accomplishment man. i appreciate it yeah. thank you
I kinda wish I was inside of somebody else's dream I'm trying to fish for some faith that this ain't what it seemed I mean I might have seen them clouds even felt some rain My eyes are open like a window that's surrounded by pain I know sometimes I don't articulate myself right, right? Maybe it coincides with how we hear ourselves, right, right? I won't tell you that you're supposed to help fight, right? But I've got that shelf life if you wanna know what that hell like the knife is open, you're holding it up to your throat no. The tail light's broken, they don't know cause you pulling a boat no. Only take what you need, everything else gets left no. But if we gotta die tonight, I might take a couple extra breaths no. I've never been a born loser, time got no remorse no. Watch over those stormtroopers, they'll force you to use force But you still try to hold the tears, poker face, show no fear Lost in space, solar flare, don't really care if the coast is clear no. I hope it's enough to get home no. This lake is frozen Cold as fuck if you sit on a throne no. Only give what you can And try not to overextend no. But if we gotta die tonight I don't wanna make any more friends no. This train is ours We should be tagging and writing no. This pain was power Now we got jobs in advertising huh. But you're still trying to hold the torch Of course we took no shorts With a hand-drawn map and some rose quartz You can meet me at where the road forks no. Considering all of the shit that you see I don't see what you see Listen for the clicks, crack the code like a high score I might even whisper, I'm trying to be speechless The amplifier 
amplified voice is just a sign of our weakness We act like we're trying to push it over the edge But some of y'all don't even use soap on your legs Got a lot of excuses to stop what you're doing Phone died trying to binge watch the revolution who's right for you and who wants to go out with you. It's a wonderful opportunity to get an understanding of each other's chemistry and fulfill your greatest expectations. Congratulations, you made a very smart move. Hi, I'm Tony. I'm 36 years of age and I'm looking for love. Hi, I'm Tony. I'm 36 years of age, 5 foot 10, an entrepreneur, businessman. My career has afforded me a luxury lifestyle and I'm looking for someone to share that luxury with. Someone that, well, someone that doesn't mind disappearing for a long period of time. I was a sad boy. I like the sad chicks, protest the process, problem addicts She holds me accountable for all of the damage But we were both digging through the trash, trying to find a sandwich Back when a kiss used to taste like a camel Back when we used to play the game just to gamble We used to ride around the city on a surfboard Working towards trying to afford a spot on the first floor Yeah, I guess if you say so, we was comfortably numb in the back of a rainbow Choking on the same smoke, looking at the same show Can't even remember what I came for What? My name ain't known in the traps of the streets But it rolls off the tongue like fuck the police And now you're back up in the city getting sniffy You only miss me when you're tipsy She loves me, she loves my knot 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 Ain't nothing changed but the coping mechanisms There ain't an algorithm that can hold you in position And when the bars close, we can drink it in the alleyway When my heart goes, give thanks to my family Family, You're trying to use my soul as a weapon I stole it back and took a selfie of my own reflection And y'all can eat me and suck the skeleton After I climb into that hole and go to heaven There's nowhere to stand and no space to share Used to hold my hand, I used to hold your hair Stay over, there. Stay, over there. Stay over there. You're still acting like I'm, I'm supposed to care. Hi, I'm Tony. She loves me. She loves my knot. She loves me. She loves my knot. She loves me. She loves my knot. She loves me. She loves my
she loves my knot Let's make a wish on a falling star Like please don't let the star fall on me Gotta handle my biz and try to catch a little bit So I can teach my kids the same impractical shit must be something in the gutter running with the rainwater. Everybody wanna be popular with the name droppers. They'll find me on the side of the road, a la mode. Don't even look at me, Bominos. I remember when forever didn't seem like what took you so long. Got me counting down the numbers, trying to push it along. And if I'm wrong, I'll admit I was wrong. And probably try to make it fit in a song. I don't know what to do, there's so much info. The sky is the roof, and my phone's a window. Just put your hands in the air and hit follow What a time to be alive and scared of tomorrow She loves me, she loves my knot 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 I live down the street from what's most likely The biggest stop sign in the whole world mm-hmm. Mike, how about cheese salad? Ugh. Cheese omelet? Cheese burger. Some french fries and a nice cold bottle of beer. I'll see. Another friend, John mm-hmm. and his friends. We, we could do, we might just call this segment the show, right? John and his friends, well, or when Brian comes out, Brian, Brian and his, and his friends. friends. They're all our friends, you know, I like to look at our friends. Of course, they don't really like us very much, but I don't, I don't, I don't blame them for not liking us. Some, sometimes we're a little bit inconsiderate. We, we are. <laughs> Once again it all 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 I don't wanna give you a reason to speak The path of least resistance is belief you don't see me I remember when I used to run around with you freaks Even try to teach a few of y'all to read the graffiti Once again it all you don't need to give me a reason to live Already got enough to make me feel as if I'm suffocated by love Find me at the bottom of a shoebox full of old pictures and ticket stubs Once again it all Would you be my friend? Once again it all I just want some friends Once again it all Want me like a friend Once again it all I don't like your friends Once again it all once again, it all comes down to how fast the undead can run. Master James Shaw, eight years old, student, attends formal school two mornings a week. Much of his education, however, is carried on in a kind of education center within the home. There are great ideas undiscovered, breakthroughs available to those who can remove 
one of truth's protective layers. His assignments are programmed into his mind and fed into teaching machines, which allow him to progress as rapidly as his awakening mind can absorb the audiovisual lessons. And you can wrap your lips around my microphone, spread your wings and fly me home. Find my partner and depart the parte I probably had to love you the hard way Maybe we was drunk out back with the dumpster breath She know how to treat me like something special Flunked the class, but she passed the test She got a portrait tattoo, a funk master flex Girl, I'll take you to Egypt for no reason other than skeezing In hotels and regions that look over scenery Pieces of history, mixing my semen up with your secretions Hot butter on my breakfast toast She still got the best approach And don't forget to check those that never be ghost And keep your enemies close Was a robot, I'd lick you on your touch screen. Later, when you act new, I'll holler at your vacuum. I think we about to get 86 They don't appreciate the way we kiss. Give a fuck what you find inappropriate. It's a bar, not a church, your holiness. Now let me get in Auga. Roll up a joint, look like a bazooka. All I know is they try not to show you how little they actually hold what they own too. Hey, I'm the loud balloon. I might howl at the moon in the middle of the afternoon. Never had a lot, never hit a jackpot. Who wanna party with the bad, bad dad bod? And I ain't got the time to wonder. You never know if this will be your last summer. Now go ahead, shut your whole chap lip, pucker. You bicycle seat sniffing motherfucker. Spanish, Asian, Korean, there are now more than 25,000 titles available on videotape. With so many different stores that rent videos, competition has become a big factor. So why still go to a particular video store when price may be better somewhere closer to home? The atmosphere, they're helpful here, they're friendly, you know, first name basis type thing, it's, it's just a nice family. The atmosphere, whatever. Reasons why a person will pick a certain store to rent a movie is like most decisions. It depends. Well, we're kind of a country atmosphere. We got, we don't, we're not even on a computer yet. We're not space age, but we, we got the movies and we, and we got the friendly atmosphere. You know, we just like space age people. with this. That's what I am. That's what I've been trained for. I don't know what it's like to trust someone. Then what did we just share? Look at my hand. Shutting down 
guys will definitely cry in space, but the big difference is tears don't fall. We practice abstinence, it's for the best I guess I'm so sensitive, she calling me a booty hole And now I'd rather sleep down at the studio Stop fighting my rap style My life has never been so gorgeous Stop fighting my rap style Turn me up until my voice gets distorted I'm exhausted, but I'm far from harmless I'm trying to be a better partner regardless Stop fighting my rap style So why you make me want to turn back into stardust? Christian and Ron will serve more time in prison than most killers do. The sentence is determined by the weight of the drug. And with LSD, the government includes the weight of the paper. Now, I have two sheets. This one's considerably heavier than this one. I mean, you really can feel the difference in a hand. Mm -hmm. Should someone spend more time in prison simply because they have heavier paper? I guess maybe my best response is he should be shot. Lysergic acid diethylamide, LSD, yes, acid. Know all about it. Experts say that more psychedelic teenagers are now using LSD and other illegal hallucinogens than using respectability on the street, and there's a good chance your psychedelic children know all about it. LSD seems to be reaching for a new respectability in the laboratory. For the first time in years, scientists have the green light to resume human experiments. 
And as you're about to see, it's not just psychedelic kids looking for kicks who are excited about LSD's return trip. I got so much trouble on my... Hey, 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 hey. Yesterday I saw two house flies going at it in the bathroom like a couple of bar flies It was disgusting, but not cause of the fucking It's just a random thought I had that everyone's an offspring of something. A whole lot of bacteria Standing on the rocky banks of Lake Superior Try to watch the weather, keep a finger on the artery Stop pretending that you ain't left the party with part of me I believe you're from the future and you came back to waste me But I think you probably won't cause you like me We in the shadow of the shade of the moonlight Let's say goodnight while it's still a good night, alright? I'm feeling like maybe it's getting closer to closing time Lock the door, flip over the sign And I've got so much trouble on my mind I'm spilling my bottle up on your table I'm as willing to enable as a tornado I wear it like the heart you tattoo to your sleeve You tear it all apart to gather what you need Stop all the madness, box up the fragments Stick a book of stamps to the top of the package Say please deliver this to the previous owner I wrote my name up in the corner and the S was a cobra Mix up the ingredients, how I showed ya You probably think I'm an idiot though, don't ya? Never thought I'd grow to be anything more than just another gomer Being told to shut up, soldier Looking over your shoulder before stepping over the line I could turn the water in your toilet bowl into wine And I've got so much trouble on my mind I can't help but to think back Back before the shrink wrap Back before the sound man was sabotaged with feedback All I wanted was to be a part of something larger than the sum of the parts My dogs are bark at the sharks And it's my darkest parts that seem to get all the shine It's when I start my departure Then I remember the rhyme It goes, I got so much trouble on Never mind Refuse to lose The challenge for a new generation can we learn from turbulent past acid experiments and control it this time? Winnipeg to St. Paul, 500 miles under the most difficult conditions imaginable. 57 drivers arrived in the capital of Manitoba on Monday and paid $5 for the privilege of suffering through four days of physical pain. Less than half would be able to make it. One of the first to pick up the glove was Herb Howe of Minneapolis. Although some of the drivers were professionals, the rest came from fields which had no connection with snow or racing. Two professional wrestlers, Larry Henning and Harley Race, joined this unusual assortment. One would finish, the other would leave after 11 miles. As temperatures dropped to 35 degrees below zero, they rode the Winter Carnival 500. Stuck in the 
stuck here trying not to hear what you're saying the Music turns up my love to span Whatever you believe in is fine with me Ain't trying to argue, ain't trying to agree I want the big payback, can't afford to tax Got nothing to stand on, the floor collapsed and I, and I don't mean to be unsociable But I prefer to be alone in my own bubble So subtle, you can't roll a broken stone I probably should have stayed home for my fucking troubles I feel the temperature max out I'm on the couch, I rock and I lean forward Look around, and when I finally tap out I hit the porch, and crash through the screen door Crash the party Crash the party Catch a body Catch a body Crash the party Crash the party Catch a body Catch a body Chevy, 
And I don't even know if I'm supposed to be alive All I know is that I love it when I open up my eyes And I'm surrounded by these people I would give up my life for This is why we get high for If I could commit to you, I won't Tonight has been a magical night. We saw a scary monster changed into a beautiful, happy, and safe little princess. How about you? Will you follow the lead of the little princess and have a safe and super Halloween this year?